Hello everybody. Today we are going to discuss about classification of elementary particles according to their spin. In my previous video, I have already explained about elementary particles and classification of elementary particles according to their mass. Elementary particles are subatomic particles which do not have internal structure. We have already discussed about that thing and today we are going to study about the spin and classification of elementary particles according to their spin. So generally when we take an object, regular object, when we take a regular object, how can we call this as a spin? When the axis that goes through the center of the sphere or any object now when this starts to rotate 180 degree rotation or any angle through any angle then this is called spin or we can also call it as a rotation this is what actually we learn in our physical world but in subatomic world or quantum world spin is not a rotation okay in um, quantum world spin does not means rotation spin is actually an intrinsic property intrinsic property of subatomic particle what kind of intrinsic property actually what actually is intrinsic property let me explain a few about that now let's understand about intrinsic property and extrinsic property intrinsic property means such type of property which exists because the matter or object already exists here let's take an example suppose this is a ball ball has mass the mass is an intrinsic property of this ball because the mass exists the mass exists because the ball exists here but now when this ball starts to move it gains kinetic energy now this kinetic energy is produced because the ball is moving the ball is actually moving that is why it gains kinetic energy means such type of property which exists when the object is moving or jumping or object is falling such property are called extrinsic property so spin is a intrinsic property spin Spin is intrinsic property of subatomic particles. This is not the spin that we see in our regular world. And the spin of electron. We know that the spin of electron is 1 by 2. This means the half integral spin. This is not actually the rotation of electron. This is the intrinsic property. So this is what I mean to say intrinsic property and extrinsic property which is very important to understand. We can classify elementary particles into two categories according to their spin. Let's see. One is bosons and another is fermions. Bosons are such subatomic particles which has integral spin like 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 dot. Such type of spin is called integral spin. Okay. And fermions are such type of subatomic particles which do not have integral spin. They have half integral spin like 1 by 2, 3 by 2, and dot, 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 dot. Such type of integral spin are called half integral spin. Half integral spin. Now, bosons can be classified into two groups. They are massless boson. One is massless boson and another is mesons. Massless bosons means photon 
and grab it all. Photon and grab it all. Massless bosons are also called force carrier. They carry the force from one place to another place. And we have already discussed that bosons are also the force carriers, but they exist inside the nucleus. Photon has the spin. Photon has the spin one, which is the graviton are assumed to have spin two. We have not directly encountered graviton till date, but it is assumed that its spin is two. In context of mesons, we have already read that there are three kinds of mesons, popular mesons, pi mesons, kaons, and eta. And all of them have spin zero. So let us summarize this again. Elementary particles can be classified into two groups, bosons and polymials. Bosons are such subatomic particles which has integral spin. Massless boson and mesons are the two categories of bosons. Massless bosons consist of proton and photon and graviton. We already know photon is the force carrier of electromagnetic wave and graviton is assumed to be the force carrier of gravity. They have one and two spin respectively. In context of mesons, there are three popular mesons, pi mesons, kaons and eta. All of them have spin zero. Now let's talk about fermions. Fermions can be classified into two subcategories. They are leptons and baryons. In leptons, we already know that electron muons and tau particle exist and along with them anti-electron which has positive charge, anti-muons which have positive charge and anti-tau which have positive charge they also exist and along with them electron, neutrino, Mu neutrino Tau neutrino and their antiparticles also exist. Antiparticles. They fall under the subcategories leptons. So altogether there are two well leptons exists. Now let's talk about baryons. Baryons can be classified into two groups. They are nucleons and hyperons. Consist of proton and neutron. proton and neutron. When we are talking about spin, leptons, all of the leptons family, all of the members of lepton family has the spin 1 by 2 and all of the baryons also have the spin 1 by 2. So we can tell that the fermions are the subatomic particles which has the spin 1 by 2, half integral spin. Electron also possesses half integral spin and proton and neutron and every subatomic particles that falls under fermions they possess half integral spin. We have not directly encountered the 3 by 2 or other integral spin till date. So proton and neutron they both fall under the same category and they also have half integral spin. Now let's talk about hyperons. 
Hyperons are such subatomic particles which has mass heavier than proton and neutron, which has mass heavier than proton and neutron. And they exist in neutron star and supernovas. There are sigma, delta, xi, and omega. Sigma, delta, xi, and omega. Okay, that was for today. If you like my work, don't forget to share among your friends. And also, don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you will get my... You'll never miss my... You'll never miss my videos. Okay.